Hello guys, Pablo here. Welcome back to Random Access Projects. I've seen a lot of the comments to my other videos that many of you are using brushless motors to build robotic arms. So today, on this video, I would like to talk a little bit more about that. But first, I want to show you some videos from my teenage years. I just came across them in an old video camera and I found a lot of fun projects that I made with my cousins and with some of my friends, including my own version of a robotic arm. Don't get too excited though, it was made 20 years ago from parts from a printer, so it's with stepper motors and other crap that I found lying around. So come with me, let's go check out these old videos. Among the projects I like the most are a lot of electric transportation concepts, like this front wheel drive tricycle powered by a golf cart motor, or this mini Formula One looking electric go kart powered by the same motor, and also this electric conversion of a vintage Fiat 500 for which I also used a golf cart motor. Then there's this electronic sunflower, which inspired me to turn my family's 5 meter wide satellite dish into a huge sun seeking water heater. Plus, some line following robots that could navigate line mazes or just go really fast. And finally, my beloved robotic arm. These are all examples of teenage engineering. But now, I'd like to talk about a different teenage engineering, one based out of Stockholm, Sweden. They are known for their awesome product design, and you've probably seen some of their products already, like the OP1, which allows you to create amazing musical compositions from scratch, as demonstrated here by a YouTuber making the theme for the TV series Stranger Things. Today, in order to continue with our brushless motor robotic arms topic, we will talk about Raven R. Raven R was designed by Teenage Engineering for the Chinese multinational technology company Baidu. It is an AI speaker that incarnates Baidu's virtual assistant in the same way Amazon Echo embodies Alexa or some Apple products embody Siri, but in a friendlier, dancier, more futuristic and much more interactive way. Raven's looks are sleek and precise, yet it moves in a bouncy and even cartoonish way. When I look at Raven R, it reminds me of Luxo Jr the Pixar lamp character from 1986 that gracefully jumps in every Pixar movie. If we slow down the video animation, we can see some of the secrets inside Raven R. The motors used are all brushless motors. The base motor is a direct drive with no gears, while the arm joints use planetary gear reductions. This close-up reveals the rotation of the motor compared to the rotation of the joint. We can appreciate there is a significant reduction ratio. Also in this close-up of the circuit board, we see what looks like a radial magnet and maybe 
an encoder integrated circuit, similar to the AS5048 that we've been using to control our motors in previous videos. Raven R is an awesome contraption that shows how it is possible to turn a pile of plastic and electronic components into an animated character in the same way other manufacturers have done it with Ibo or Cosmo. When the joints involve brushless motors, the movements are softer and quieter, unlike the stepper motors seen in my vintage robot. Today, I will pick up where we left off and provide you with a tiny bit of code for controlling joints similar to the ones in Raven R. In my previous videos, I showed you how to control the position of a brushless motor in closed loop. However, this was limited to only one revolution. If the motor was to be turned more than one revolution, it would mess up the proportional control part of the code. It would not wind itself back to the original position, but would just find the shortest path to it without taking into consideration the turn. Or it would produce erratic behaviors like this one that happens when we set the set point close to 0 or 359 degrees. To solve this issue, I created a turn counter that is activated every time a large jump in position is detected. As our position is mapped between 0 and 359 degrees, completing a turn will cause a jump from a position of 359 degrees to a position of 0 degrees when turning in one direction and the opposite when turning the other direction. So I wrote some code that detects jumps in rotor position larger than 50 degrees. When a large jump is detected, it causes the turn counter to increase or decrease. The new code fixes the problem seen earlier. It accounts for the number of turns and keeps track of the absolute position of the motor. When turning the rotor away from its preset position, it gives a feeling of twisting a spring like the ones inside those vintage spring-loaded toy cars. The constant and smooth torque feels playful and bouncy and springy, making these motors the perfect choice for Raven R's joints. If you are building a robotic arm project, consider using brushless motors. For some joints, you will need a compact gearbox, which you can design in Fusion 360 using the helical gear generator add-in and then print it in 3D like our friend from Scientific, who took the challenge of making a powerful robot arm using brushless motors and 3D printing the whole structure. You may also use something off the shelf, like this Tamiya planetary gearbox set, which offers eight different reduction ratios to select from. The brushless motor control board shown in this video uses an embedded Arduino Pro, which has a total of 6 PWM ports and MOSFET power stages. This is enough for driving two motors. You will probably need at least four, most likely six motors, for your robotic arm or your Raven replica. The solution here is to configure the two or three motor control boards as slave boards, and then use a master board, which can be another Arduino or a more powerful Raspberry Pi, for example, and they will do the kinematic calculations and send the desired positions to the slave boards, which are dedicated to controlling the motor in the joints of your Raven R replica. I hope you like this video. If you find it motivating and you're building a robotic arm or a replica of a Raven R, it would be really cool if you could upload a video and share it with me. I'd love to see what you're up to. I will be uploading some more videos soon, so stay tuned, see you next time.